What would you like to see accomplished when Parliament resumes? Affordable housing. I think that's important. They need to look into that to help people. Um, like you go to university and you do all the right things, you get a good education, you get a good job, but if you live in Vancouver or Calgary or Edmonton or Ottawa, God help you trying to, to buy a house, to get, make enough, to save enough to buy a house. In order to accomplish anything, you have to work together. Uh, they, they have to understand this because it, it's getting uh, to the point here now where people are just, we're so fed up, they'll elect just about anybody as long as they promise you something, but then when they promise it, deliver it or don't say anything about all. Don't make false promises. I would like Justin Trudeau to keep his promises from the past um, election campaign in regards of the reform for uh, electoral vote. Also, I don't know if we can get um, reimbursed for the pipeline that you bought, but it will be nice. Well, affordable rent, apartments for people, lights and heat included if possible. Um, more updates so in the visual places, depends on where they are and what locations. And I imagine they do the best they can. Uh, better health care. Uh, our health care is not really the greatest because we're always waiting in uh, outpatients for like hours on end. And there should be like, you know, more doctors and stuff like that. We don't really have the luxury of having many doctors, especially around here. So I think that we should have um, better, a better health care system. First and foremost, I'd like to see us get that budget balanced. I think we're, we're getting ourselves in a lot of trouble in terms of the, the spending. I understand the social programs, and especially with COVID and everything that, that's taken place uh, and, and the need for it. However, I think we're digging ourselves a whole long term and we need to start to rein that in and look for ways that we can get ourselves back on the right foot and start to really pay down that debt so that our, our future generations aren't saddled having to come up and find ways to, you know, to, to basically pay for what we're putting in place now? Oh, that's a good question. I think for me, the priority is definitely a plan for reconciliation, focusing on our Indigenous Canadians, getting them clean drinking water, getting them the help that they need, and also centering them in our climate change conversations. I hope that the government that's in place now can work together for a period of time of at least three or four years, frankly, to get some things done. I recognize that in a minority government there are going to be issues, but maybe that's a positive thing. Maybe it's an opportunity for us to actually get together, work together as two or three different parties, try to identify the key issues, and actually make some progress towards addressing those issues. I personally don't think we can continue to spend on the same uh, uh, volume of spending that we're doing now without at the same time addressing the reality of how as a country we're going to leave this to our children and our grandchildren. That's a major concern for me. Got any thoughts on yeah, that one? Yeah, finish the pandemic. Let's get it done. Let's get everybody vaccinated and get back to normal as quickly as we can and then invite tourists from, from other places. I would like to see uh, more programs for people who have been uh, suffered through this last year or two. Um, I think we're, we're a very wealthy nation. Most people have lots of things, but there's a lot of people who need some help. And I think we could still do a lot to help people. I'd like to see some movement on the environment, I think. And I mean, basically, there's a number of things people, they got to look at. I mean, even like health care in terms of, uh, you know, the aging population and stuff like that. I think they need to look at, prioritize a couple of issues like that and just move forward on them if they can in a minority parliament, you know, so we, should, we shall see. Well, besides the pandemic, I think that, like, um, definitely the economy in Canada has gone down. So I think that we need to work to kind of build up our economy and and kind of work through this pandemic together because I feel like there's a lot of different sides and um, just work towards the Canada that we know and love. This world is being bought uh, every second of every day and uh, it's truly showing within our government and that our leaders are just puppets and uh, I think a big change needs to happen and actually we need to start looking out for our country rather than uh, all these big corporations focusing on their pockets and how big their wallet is. I think the Indigenous uh, conversation must be given a real priority. I, 
I think we also must look at equality amongst the provinces and this us and, us and them is getting a little tired. I think for us to think globally, we have to start that at home and that is our bear, our, our boundaries are there for a reason, but they they don't need to, to be us and them all the time. I'd like to see our government address our housing crisis. I do not see, I see COVID, I see COVID, I see COVID, and I see COVID, but not once do I see them addressing our housing issue. So I'm pretty sure you're just gonna see some mockery of the Canadian democratic system that we used to have. We used to actually have a somewhat believable election and I don't see it as being believable now. And all they're gonna do as soon as they open the, the parliament is start shoving more stuff down people's throats. They're not gonna fix nothing.